Put your hands, everyone, together for the lovely Miss Red Austin! To me, and to a lot of women, burlesque is empowering. It's not the same as any other kind of uh, theater where you take off your clothes. It's like, you know, it's a performance that is put on stage to make you happy and to share your happiness with the audience. <laughs> Yes, the best is yet to come. 
forswear thy foolish ways. <laughs> this is Red Austere. She's one of the rising stars of the Minneapolis burlesque scene, and she was born to be center stage. I am in love with the stage. I love being on stage. I love the attention from the audience. I love the positive feedback. I love to play with the audience. Like sometimes if I stare someone right in the eye, they kind of give me a little like, ah! <laughs> you see it, I love that. Despite years of experience singing and performing, it wasn't until meeting her boyfriend that she discovered burlesque. He was a part of Body Blue Burlesque Review. And they were the first burlesque troupe I ever saw. I went to Body Blue shows a few times and eventually I was like, I wanna sing. I want to be part of this. I want to be part of the troupe. I want to see what I can do, see if anyone likes me, see if I can do this. And so I talked to the director and she let me do a couple shows. And it was scary, but it went well. This is my bag of costumes that I'm working on. I like to try to make it unique mm -hmm. in some way or another. And some would say it's unique just because I'm the one doing it. But um, I like to add, it, if I can, some kind of prop or costume that I've made that's very me. We are going to take a tour through my magical closet of sparkle. I've got slips. Let's see. This is supposed to go over the slip, but it also looks nice over lingerie. Anything shiny is just perfect for burlesque. My favorite's one that doesn't exist yet. It's still in my head. It's on its way, but it involves this, which is well, just <laughs> shapeless on the hanger, but it's got rainbow um, sequins on the front and on the back. You can see I've started to do gold and silver sequins. So that'll be down the whole back. Lately, I've been making a lot of my costumes because I dream them up. Um, but sometimes I'm lucky and I can just find one that works. Along with this do-it-yourself approach, Red has benefited from integrating previous talents to her burlesque persona. But I found out ways to bring things from my past into what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I had taken like a circus class and I learned a bunch of cane tricks and I was able to bring that in. I'm able to bring my color guard skills in also with fire spinning a little bit. So right now I've got socks over this. I do that to keep the wick from getting ruined because I drop this a lot. Mm -hmm. This is what the Kevlar wick looks like. Um, Kevlar is pretty much flame resistant, so you can see it's super intact, even though I've burnt this a ton of times. So what I'm doing is soaking it for just a little bit. I don't want to burn for too long. And then squeezing it out. Don't try this at home! Fire is dangerous! I could light my hair on fire, and if I wasn't wearing all cotton or natural materials, then I could just melt it right into my skin. Not good. Okay. I'm gonna step far away from that fuel station. Ah, I love the sound. Like the sound of a flag whipping when you are playing with it is one thing, but this is the sound of danger. <laughs> Having found her niche in the burlesque world, there's no place for Red to go now but up, and her song isn't ending anytime soon. I'm basically getting to do everything I've always wanted to do now. It just has a place. Minneapolis is where my heart is. And I mean, in burlesque and everything. There are so many venues who are open to burlesque and will have that special license so that you can have that. And it's, uh, it's heartwarming to me. When you see someone get on stage and feel the power of what they're doing and feel so in the moment, it you can't help but be inspired.
Cherry Sky Studios. What do you think is like one of the biggest obstacles you face so far being like a black skateboarder or a skateboarder, period? Every magazine I'm looking in, all I tend to see is people saying things about the cold weather up here in Minneapolis. Man, there's so many other things to do up here in Minneapolis. <laughs> they really got us messed up. There gotta be more than they see about Minneapolis. Just gotta be. <laughs> Man, there's so much great music, food, theater, malls. <laughs> you know, from North Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, 
uh, uptown, downtown, diggy town, all over. Man, but am I, me, I'm an out of town. Am I capable of doing something like this? Man, this is a big task. Ah! So hmm. Maybe I need to show. Maybe I need to just go on my daily day, moving around the city, and let the world see the lights, the northern light lights. <clears throat> just maybe I will do that. So as I begin to walk, I begin to think. And some of the things that my, some of my people said to me, you know, they've been up here for Minneapolis for a long, long time. So I figured, hmm, I might as well get on the bus first, and then I'll start my journey that way. But the stuff they kept saying kept coming to me in my mind. Man, what are they saying? Let me think about that. Man, go downtown Minneapolis, man. That's what it do? It get, it get popping man, you down. You know, you can hit the Mall of America, man. That's where all the locations is, man. Then we got a couple oh, hood spots around here. Heard that mall be popping. Uh, Imperial Room. Be a lot of people in there. There's like three floors in there. Man, Friday night is a lot of people. I started my quest into downtown Minneapolis. Um, one of the first places I went into was the IDS building, which was connected to what they call the Skyway system. Man, the Skyway system is awesome. It's 69 full blocks over 11 miles of, of enclosed sky system with a climate control and everything. <laughs> they got banks, hotels, food, restaurants, retail shops, Anything you need, you just walk to it all through the Skyway so system. You stay out of cold weather, many in the downtown. I and that's again, me. many more other quests. I remember that downtown was the home to many, if not all, of the Minneapolis sports teams. So I decided to take me a walk over to where. Let's check out some of the sports teams. See what's going on. Minneapolis has a, a transit system, a train system, just like Chicago, Detroit, New York. This train system runs from the Mall of America to the Target Field. So I decided to get on, ride it, see what it's about, take it to Target Field. In the summertime, man, boy, this place be rocking. Right now it's the winter. It's like just a couple of weeks until the baseball season starts. But when it starts, this place rocks. Minneapolis neighborhoods 
hold a unique value and a unique difference feel. Each neighborhood fits the people that's in the neighborhoods. I mean, you got North Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, South East, Uptown, Downtown, Dicky Town. I mean, you got everything in between. But every neighborhood fits the people. And the people fit the neighborhood. How can you ask for anything more than that? So, why not head to one of the neighborhoods I like the best? Why not? Head up to Uptown with all the different shops and stores and restaurants and things of that nature, Lake Calhoun, and the beautiful scenery it has up there. Gives me an opportunity to free my mind a little bit. Come on, let's go. From all this walking the bus riding, now I'm hungry. So what a good way to crisp my appetite and my thirst than going on head over the south side of Minneapolis to the legendary Mass Diner to give me what? A Juicy Lucy. Now that I love mats, now that I'm full, feeling pretty good, and still got a whole day ahead of me, I decided to call one of my one of close friends of mine, D, he come pick me up, and we're going to ride out to the mall. But not just one of them anymore, we're going to ride out to the Mall of America, one of the world's biggest malls, labeled as the Mega Mall. 94,000 square feet or more. Hundreds and hundreds of stores. Any type of store you want. Any type of thing you want. You can get it there. So, I'm going to sit back. We're going to put it on cool control. We're going to ride on out to where? We're going to ride on out to the Mega Mall. See you when we get there. Now that we ain't left the mall, I got me a nice outfit to wear for the night. I'm going to let you guys experience the rest of Minneapolis on your own. Because I'm going to let you guys see what I see. Furthermore, Minneapolis is just a beautiful urban town. With a lot of beautiful people, places, things. And pretty much a great place to live. So, in the end, I want to wish everybody a good will. And... You will be seeing me again. To be continued. Peace. Then the home of the proud. So original. Got our own style. Model of America to the target center. To the target field. What a pleasure to enter. Next on the agenda. Might go downtown. And maybe hit uptown. I like how both of them sound. Don't, 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 don't,